And if you realize that God didn't make any junk, that there's a pearl of goodness in everyone, then uh, keep on digging uh, for it, you know. I mean, when the woman and manager came out, you know, people went, whoa, this is interesting. And it got a lot of dialogues about the truth. There's only three secrets, you know. And so I get a call when I'd be on the Hour of Power with Robert Shula in his heyday. I get on his show and he says, Ken, I just love the one minute manager. You know who's the greatest one minute manager of all time? I said, who's that? He said, Jesus. I said, really? He said, yeah, he was really clear on goals. Wasn't that your first secret one minute goal setting? Yeah. And he said, you and Tom Peters didn't invent management by wandering around. Jesus did. He wandered from one little village to another village. And he, but he showed an interest. He praised him, healed him. Isn't that your second secret one minute praising? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and if people stepped out of line, he wasn't afraid to give them a minute reprimand, he threw the money lenders out of the temple. Isn't that your uh, third secret, the one minute? Yeah. So he's the greatest one minute manager of all time. And I went, whoa, that's really interesting. And it motivated me to look at the Gospels. And I went to Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and I, and all. And I just laughed because everything I had ever written about leadership, Jesus did with these 12 incompetent guys he hired. I mean, you wouldn't have hired that lot. And um, so he's the greatest leader of all time, but nobody was teaching it. So it's just uh, amazing to see uh, the impact he had and the fact that if you realize that the person in front of you is also a child of God, well, then how can you find that, that pearl?